Welcome to the Wrath Cave. Let's check it out. What's up, guys? It's Raph in the Wrath Cave, and welcome back to another home theater Wrath Cave tour. This is my number 15th tour of the Raft Cave. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I do home theater inspiration videos, unboxings, trailer reactions, and live video game content. If you like that kind of stuff, smash the like, smash the subscribe. I appreciate all the nice comments if you want to give them to me about my theater. Um, but yeah, what a journey, guys. Um, if you want to go back to my previous videos, go all the way back to, to the Raft Cave tour number one. That's where it all began. And then two, three, and so forth to see the, the slow progression of things that I've added to this basement to make it what I call the Raft Cave. Uh, a lot of love, a lot of dedication, a lot of planning, and uh, basically, again, guys, this is my dream. My dream, my vision was to have a basement like this, to have various areas of entertainment, and it's just incredible. I love it. That's why I love being home. There's nowhere, nowhere else I'd rather be uh, than, than right here. It's just awesome. Um, so before I begin, I do want to give a huge thank you and shout out to my beautiful wife because without her support and the WAF factor, uh, none of this would be possible. So I definitely want to thank her. Uh, she's making this possible for me and allowing me to do this in our home. Uh, so that, with that out of the way, thank you. Of course, guys, um, I'm going to bring you on a tour. I'm going to talk about various areas of down here. I'll talk about individual items that I have down here. Uh, and then uh, if you have any questions, of course, let me know below. Uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah, let's get started, guys. Let's start from the very top and work our way down here. All right, guys, let's do it. All right, guys, let's begin. Welcome to the Raft Cave Home Theater. So down the hall, I have the various posters. Tron. What else we got? Alien. Predator and Star Wars at the bottom and I got these uh, these banners from various awesome movies I want to thank Brett for these you know who you are I want to finish up the uh, the rest of the stairs but those are my posters there as soon as you walk down of course you got to have a panel an acoustic panel there we got Neo Trinity Morpheus Matrix we got Mr. Myers, got some Bumblebee action, Arnold Terminator, can't wait to see you in Mortal Kombat 11. Speaking of that, boom, Scorpion. Expendables 2, remember that crew? Oh, that TV. Bruce, of course. Oh yeah, and me. So Spidey, Prime, you coming back Prime, I'm going to see you again, Tony. So those are my various posters here, Kratos, Punisher, Spidey, DT, oh, Dolby, of course. All right, so as you walk down the aisle here, the hallway, you're going to see my various uh, physical media. Here's my 4K collection. And these are my Blu-ray collection. Oh man. Oh man, you know what this is, guys. The best router you can buy right now is the Asus AX11000. This thing has not let me down and it's a beast. You want the best Wi-Fi right now? get it all right so as we walk into this area i'm just going to show you this area first yes i'm a vikings fan I'm, well yeah uh we're gonna have uh this cool uh raft cave hulk blanket here thanks to gary vikings pillows gears blanket skull couple gears lancers where my gear head's at Oh yeah, the original 
None of that little orange little little cap in the front there. No, no. Real stuff. Pacific Rim. Great movie. Sequel, meh. But, you know, maybe we'll get another one. All right, as I pan back here, this area right here is going to be mostly TV watching and sports watching. What I have here is Infinity Towers with built-in 12-inch subwoofers inside. Then I have uh, Dolby Atmos caps from Pioneer on top. Center channel there. And of course the TV. An 82-inch Mitsubishi DLP projector. Now, this area here, I only watch HD stuff. It's not a lot of 4K. So this right here, this DLP projector here, is incredible. Mitsubishi put out some of the best big screen TVs, and this one is no exception. All I need to do is buy a $40 bulb to keep this guy going, and I'm very pleased with it. It's awesome. All right, let's uh, go in a little bit here. So I'm going to have the uh, Xbox One S. That's the Gears Edition. The OG Xbox in the bottom. We're going to have a couple HD home runs. A two-tuner and a four-tuner for all my uh, local, local TV streaming throughout the house and my devices. We got the Xbox 360 with the HD DVD add-on. Oh yeah, I'm not getting rid of you. Uh-uh. All right, look at this, guys. Sony ES1100 receiver. It's awesome. I just made a video of this. Whew, look at that front light. It's awesome. Thing sounds great, guys. It's a great receiver. What I have here is a uh, four-way HDMI splitter, and that gives me um, the same image from this area across the whole raft cave. That is a uh, butt kicker amplifier. That's what I have uh, hooked up to the couch. Get a little extra rumble. It's a spawn figurine. I'll see you in Mortal Kombat next year. Monster Vision 3D. I don't use them, but I like the box. Up top here we have uh, Pandora's box from uh, God of War 3. Nice collectible. Predator, my all time favorite movie. I could watch this movie every day and not get bored. Never. So Spidey, Bikes, DTSES, Gears of War 3, Brothers to the End. Man, 2011, guys. Dolby Digital EX, Vikings. Burn. All right, guys, that is the TV area. So let's move on to the next area. All right, so this next area here, guys. Now, this is where I do most of my stuff. This is where I do most of my gaming. Uh, this is where I do all my live streams from. And this is where I do most of my uh, unboxings and trailer reactions. So as we walk this way, now before I begin this area, I just wanna point out the two surround sound speakers there and there those are the rear speakers to this area all right now there's a lot to talk about in this area guys so it's going to be kind of man lose my breath here where should i begin it's it's crazy all right so this is my big daddy vikings recliner it's pretty awesome that's um going to be facing the uh, vizio m65 4k tv here with a Polk Audio soundbar, with a couple of Polk Audio rear speakers, wireless. Uh, this is my gaming chair here. It's the GX Omega. It's very comfy, very very comfy. Um, so what we have in front here is a 65-inch Sony A8F OLED. Uh, it's the most beautiful picture I've ever seen and ever owned. It's incredible. Uh, let me bring it back up a little bit. Uh, so what we have here uh, is an Infinity uh, speaker home theater system. We've got a couple bookshelves here, center. Uh, we have uh, Terminator 
Endoskeleton there. Predator, Jago, Kratos, Optimus Prime, Grimlock, uh, Shadow Jago, Alien. We have the Doom, the Doom Demon there. Uh, so when I stream, I have a couple of Logitech webcams. The one on the right is the Brio 4K. The one on the left is the 922. That's for my green screen. Uh, these are, these are, uh, I wonder what keyboard this guy is. This is going to be the Razer. I uh, forget the name, guys. It's a Razer keyboard. I have a, the Razer pad all the way across. And this is the Logitech uh, thumb mouse there. I, I like that kind of configuration. It's more comfortable for me. Uh, that's the uh, Amazon. You know what that is. This thing here, I know, this is the Stream Deck. This thing is so cool. Uh, I'm able to do all my streaming from here, open up apps, change my lighting for the Philips Hue lights. Uh, by the way, guys, all my lights down here are Philips Hue, so I'm able to control all the lights in here with the push of a button or my voice. Uh, we also have the Klipsch 2.1 uh, uh, computer uh, THX system. That's hooked up to the Alexa. Uh oh Yeah. Uh, if you want to play some music and stuff. Uh, yeah, so let's see. <laughs> All right, so I also have uh, four subwoofers down here. Uh, I have one uh, poke sub down here connected to the back of the Sony TV. Right here. So when I'm watching TV on the Sony. Speaking of thin Sony. Whew, uh, this TV has what's called an acoustic surface. So yeah, if you just hook up hook up any powered subwoofer to the TV with the acoustic surface, and you're going to get an incredible sound experience from your TV. It's awesome. Uh, so over here we have the uh, tournament edition fight stick when I'm playing Killer Instinct or any um, six button fighting game. I use the stick there. Um, this is my media PC. It's just an old gateway. It's about nine years old, still doing the job, but uh, it definitely needs to be swapped and changed. Uh, this is the Corsair uh, headphone stand. These are my current gaming headphones. These are Lucid Sound LS31s. Wireless, sound good. Uh, back here, you know, Predator statue there. Eight port uh, gigabit switch. And that's the Aver Media. That's my game capture card there. Uh, so over in this area, oh, by the way, that's an Infinity 12 inch sub. Uh, this is the Denon receiver. This is the brains of the operation over here. This is the uh, 4300H, still an awesome receiver, does a really good job. Uh, we have Monster Power. Get out of here, sticker. Monster Power uh, power conditioner there. We have a butt kicker amplifier for the butt kicker in my uh, gaming seat. Blade of Chaos. God of War fans know what that is. Uh, that's Thor. We got Kylo Ren back there. We got various gears for figurines. Got Dell, JD, Kate, Marcus, of course. And uh, yeah, below here, we're gonna have the uh, PS4 Pro, Xbox One X, Xbox Elite controller, which I always use. Love that controller. Can't wait for the new one in November to replace that guy. And of course, these two will be upgraded to the PS5 and Xbox Starlet next year. Looking forward to the next gen gaming. Uh, this is my microphone here on a boom boom arm. This is the Samsung mic with a, a pop shield. It's great stuff. Uh, what else we got here? So we got some posters back there. We got Venom, Bruce. Uh, this is the uh, Google Hub, Thanos. Uh, back there we have uh, T101, uh, Johnny. I think you're back there, Johnny. Here you are. We got the Infinity War poster back there. My son made that for me. Iron Man suits, Fast and Furious, Michael Jackson. All right, so back here, we're going to have uh, Hulkbuster, Hulk, Robocop, Iron Man. We have uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Forget her name. What's your name? I forgot your name. Uh, Aloy. There you are, Aloy. This is the Mortal Kombat 10. There's only like five per store for the MK11 launch. I waited about four hours to secure me one. Definitely worth it. Ant-Man, uh, life-size helmet. I made a video of that. I can put it on my head. It's pretty cool wearing that thing. We got down here, we have uh, 
Scorpion, the Gold Scorpion, the Collector's Edition from uh, MK10. We got Shockwave, Gears, we got Hulk Pop. It's my little Gears of War Shrine here. We got the uh, Rockstar Energy Drinks from Gears 4. All the physical copies of the last four games. We got uh, figurines in the way back there. I haven't opened that yet, but a bunch of figurines there. Uh, below we have the Collector's Edition of Gears 4. It's JD. And back behind him is all the uh, pins for Killer Instinct. I collected all of them. Uh, we got a Sony Bluetooth speaker. We got a Klipsch down farming sub underneath that. We have some monster cable. Monster cable package. You know, we don't want to get rid of this because this is like collector's edition here. <laughs> Unopened black platinum. Their best and last HDMI cable they offered. I've been with Monster for a while. I just, you know, gotta keep a Gotta keep that guy. Um, this is the Batman, you know, Dark Knight Rises Collector's Edition. It's the box of cinnamon cable for Audio Quest. And uh, back here, a couple different headphones. That's the Razer headphones and Kraken, I think. Lord Vader. Uh, what else we got here? Back here, we have uh, some Bruce figurines. Bruce Lee, my idol. Got some home theater plaques. Dark Knight Rises, THX, we have the Iron Man Nano Arm from Endgame, and Thanos Infinity Gauntlet from Infinity War. Made videos of these. DTSHD, Bruce. One of 750. Special Edition. Iron Man, Spider-Man. And we have the Justice League on the bottom. Freddy Krueger here, Mr. Voorhees here, Freddy vs. Jason, great movie. We got Raphael, my favorite Ninja Turtle, I wonder why. <laughs> and yeah, a couple things there, Mortal Kombat, Collector Edition Box, Hulk, got a Gears uh, Flask there, Canteen, Fast and Furious Cars. And uh, this right here is my Legato green screen. Uh, when I do live stream gaming content, this thing is great. You just flip it up. Just roll it up, guys, and there's your green screen. Perfect. And then when you're done with it, just push it down. And boom. That's it. Simple. And uh, we have another subwoofer here. It's another clip subwoofer down there. Uh, yeah, guys, I think that's uh, about it. Butt kicker underneath. That's the butt kicker connected to my uh, gaming chair. So if I want to get a little extra kick, that's what does it there. All right, guys, so this is the... Oh, I'll show you my movies real quick. These are my uh, HD DVDs. And my regular DVDs down here. Hey, Neil going on down there so all right guys that's uh that's it there all right this is the part two of the raft cave here all right now moving on to the main event the main event guys the main event all right as you turn the corner here and you see this area what is this? This is the home theater area here. Dolby Atmos DTSX on top. Then you have all this stuff here. D-Box. Various figurines. Can we get to the equipment? Boom, what do we got? Marantz 7705 home theater processor DTX. Dolby, IMAX, it's, it's loaded. It's incredible audio. Love it. That's hooked up to my Carver Premiere. That's a five channel THX amp, which powers my front three and my side two surround. The uh, Outlaw seven channel amplifier here.
powers all my Atmos speakers and center rears. And I have the uh, Monster Power HTPS 7000 line conditioner, surge protector, hooked up to the ABS 2000 signature series from Monster to maintain that 120 volts always for clean, protected power. Right now it's adding 10, almost 10 volts to this home theater to make it all work. If I didn't have this, I'd only be getting about 110 volts. That's no good. Uh, we have a 4, uh, 4K LG player here. And the NVIDIA Shield right here, you can see it. NVIDIA Shield, that does all my uh, media streaming. And I do have these uh, top grips to elevate all my equipment for ventilation. Just plenty. Got a little cooler down there for various uh, be beverages. And that's the uh, Transformers IMAX poster there. As we pan back, this is the full home theater. A lot to talk about in this little area. Um, lighten it up a little bit. Uh, so in the rear, we're gonna have three subwoofers. We have the Infinity 12, a couple more Eclipse 12 inch down firing subs. We're gonna have uh, the butt kickers. One, two, and then three. Uh, speaking of butt kickers, this is the butt kicker amp. This is what powers those three butt kickers. Okay, and uh, yeah, let's move on here. So the main, the main, main home theater. What we have is a 135 inch uh, fixed frame screen. That's from Elite Screens. Uh, 1.3 gain. Uh, so it gives incredible brightness, color, black levels are great. Uh, we're going to have a Klipsch RF7 tower in front. A Klipsch RC7 center. And the Klipsch RF7 tower as well. Uh, we're going to have uh, black velvet drapes that I put across the whole theater. I made a video of that if you'd like to see that one. Uh, these are my three... Uh, Acoustic panels that I put on the side walls to get rid of uh, any reflections of sound. On top here, I have an acoustic cloud, four panels on the ceiling, and I mounted four Klipsch surround sound speakers for my Dolby Atmos. Uh, these are four leather recliner, uh, power recliner seats in a curved configuration. Um, got some uh, black carpet here. Uh, my dad gave this to me that he acquired from Kirby Puckett, the late Kirby Puckett. These are in his home and I have them here. Uh, these are two 15 inch Klipsch RS7 or R, yeah, RSW 15 subs, sorry. RSW 15 subs, dual, and they pack quite a punch. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, oh yeah. Let's talk about some surround sound. We got RS7 side surround, RF7 or RS7 side, and RS7 center rears mounted to the ceiling with these uh, incredibly strong omni mount brackets. Uh, of course, you know what this is, guys. The Sony uh, 295 native 4K projector, absolutely amazing images of uh, 4K and HDR. I uh, watched John, Le John Wick 3 last night on that projector and I could not believe the quality. It was out of this world. Um, and I do have um, a surge protector hooked up to it. Definitely want a surge protector on the ceiling power. And we're running uh, fiber HDMI, which I made a video of as well. That's a fiber HDMI cable hooked up to it. It's a very thin, fast wire connected to it. Whew. All right, guys. There is pretty much the raft cave again. Uh, that's about all I can say for now. Uh, my remote controls are going to be in here. I have a Logitech Harmony remote. This one here is for the main theater. This one here is for the Mitsubishi area. Then I have uh, you know separate remotes for the 1100 Sony. This is the remote for the Nvidia Shield, which I made a video for. That's the uh, Fire Stick. 
That's the remote for the LG, which I don't need, by the way, guys. This this takes care of it all. I just want to keep, keep it here just in case. And the uh, Sony projector remote and the Marantz remote. Glasses and some, yeah, some cup holders. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Monster, Xbox, Batman, Predator, you know. Kazuya. Ihachi, Jago, Ryu, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Godzilla, Superman. Uh, Darth Maul DLP chip that chip right there is what powers this TV that chip is inside this TV making this image right here it's awesome and uh, there's Sam Sam Flynn Tron hope they make another one who knows um, that's about it guys let's uh, maybe turn the basement to red should we try that Alexa change basement to red Uh, so those are my smart lights. I got the uh, light strip in the back of the mitts. Got a light strip in the back of the Vizio. Light strip behind the Sony. And all of my various lights around the basement. Uh, Mortal Kombat banner, of course. Scorpion banner. So yeah, this can make my room change color, any color. One more. Alexa, change basement to blue. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, guys. So thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it if you give me a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Welcome to the Raft Cave Club. Uh, I love home theater, guys. This this room here is a dream come true for me. Uh, it's just spectacular. I can't I can't say enough about it. I love being down here. I love being home. There's nowhere else I'd rather be than here. Incredible, incredible. All right, guys, you have a great day. Hope I gave you some ideas, inspiration. This is awesome, guys. All right, guys, until next time, home theater rules. Raph out. See ya.